Assalamu alaikum ninjas, welcome back, welcome back. Finally, finally, the 4K video test with the gimbal regarding the Pocophone F1 by Xiaomi. So, we're gonna do it. This is also kind of a mixed cinematic video because I'm gonna use also some Lutz edited video samples in Premiere, Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, so, just have that in mind. I, I'm gonna obviously edit it and you will know exactly what is the edited and what is the raw. At the intro, obviously, it is the raw sample, the original one, 4K, uh, uploaded. Uh, sorry for that, uh, it's not going to be 4K, probably I'm going to scale it to full HD but with the edited But I'm going to also have this video uh, specifically uploaded just like a raw sample on YouTube Just this one, just so just have that in mind Maybe you're going to watch it two uh, different uh, YouTube videos uh, Have that in mind, I'm going to use this sample in, a di in two different videos, okay? Uh, anyway, Pocophone F1 with the DJI Mobile Osmo You can see by itself the stability is just insane, different level So all together with this product, the smartphone and the gimbal uh, Both of them will cost you less than $500 Ninjas, look what can you get under $500 Insane, isn't it? Check this out, so I'm gonna go to different spots there for the 4K video sample uh, it seems that the 4K, uh, 4K video doesn't offer any uh, stabilization, only Full HD offers EIS, if I'm not wrong. I hope they can add that, if they can add that in the future. Uh, this, uh, of course, OnePlus, I think OnePlus 5T or OnePlus 5 added the EIS in the 4K with the updates. I hope Pocophone can do that also. We will see. Cross fingers, fingers crossed. Beautiful man, check the stability, oh my god. Also check the audio and the video stability all together. Pocophone F1 under 350 bucks, dollars. Cash, cash, cash. Insane. Pocophone completely destroyed, or Xiaomi, call like that, completely destroyed the market. They will have to, every single brand will have to change their own uh, strategy, their politics, man. Insane. You know that Huawei done that with the Honor, right now they are selling their own flagship uh, for $320, so it's even cheaper than the Pocophone right now, the Honor Play. Dual, uh, dual cameras on the back, oh sorry for that, I can't show them. There you go, now it's fine. Beautiful color, so... Uh, I have to admit that in compared to the OnePlus 6, OnePlus 6 has uh, a little bit uh, oversaturated colors. While the Pocophone F1 is balanced, it's somewhere between the Mi Mix 2S and the OnePlus 6 regarding the uh, quality, bro. The quality. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna try to run later on, so stay tuned with me. So sorry if this video is too long, I'm gonna just do this 4K video sample and talk with you a little bit. Talk with you. So what I like, what I love about the Pocophone F1, it is the speed. I love the speed, man, for $350. This is the best gaming smartphone of all time, and also, like I said, the best priced one. I'm gonna just leave them as it is like that. So what I want to say is, uh, for under $350, you get 4,000 mAh battery inside of it, cooling system, which it seems it helps. It does help, man, with the PUBG, example, OnePlus 6. Let me just give you a comparison. OnePlus 6, at the beginning, was having like 44 degrees I think so and uh, Pocophone F1 I think is the maximum 41 so there is a difference in the heating uh, I mean it is it is bro honestly three four degrees it's a big difference if you have a cooling system anyway what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna try to run a little bit let's run let's run down there I do have a bag with me so I don't know how it's gonna look like let's begin There you go, I've been running. I hope you can figure out if that is a good stability for you. Anyway, the Mobile Osmo 2 is selling for $140, plus the Pocophone $350, so that's just under $500. You get a Hollywood quality, man. You, you get the flagship SSC, you get a really a decent camera, decent camera. Obviously, it's not, it doesn't offer 60 FPS, it doesn't offer optical image stabilization with the 4K, or 60 FPS for the, with the 4K, but, you see by yourself if this is good enough for you under $350. In compared to the Honor Play, good I am um, you know, basically speaking with you, no? Anyway, in uh, compared to the Honor Play, 
Poco for F1 does have a. Just a minute, let me let me just throw this garbage. Okay, I'm back here. So I've been mentioning the Honor Play uh, since uh, I'm gonna mention a lot. The Honor Play, I do, do have a lot of comparisons on my YouTube channel between these two smartphones because they are under $350, the best buy smartphones of all time, bro, of all time. Because this is the first time in the history that we can get a flagship. Obviously, the OnePlus started that with the OnePlus One and OnePlus Two, but unfortunately, OnePlus is not anymore. I would call it a flagship with the mid-range price. Unfortunately, it's not. Pocophone and Honor are I don't mind. And I want to mention the camera that Honor Play uh, doesn't have a, a stabilization. It doesn't have electronic image stabilization. It does have some kind of a Huawei or MUI stabilization, but honestly, it's not even close to the Pocophone F1 stabilization with the EIS. So for the camera regarding the stability and the video samples, better go with the Pocophone. Uh, for the pictures, better go with the Honor Play because uh, Honor Play has that night mode. If you do care for the low light conditions, low light pictures, go with the Honor Play. But for the daylight, there is no big difference between the Honor Play and Pocophone F1, honestly. Oh, I'm not gonna catch them, so I'm gonna just go like that. So I think this is it, you get the point. I showed you a lot of uh, samples there, I showed you a lot of uh, places there. I walked with you all together and you probably so maybe let me go to the road a little bit just a minute more and that's it oh my god this is gonna be a 4k video sample probably it's gonna be 3 gigs or 4 gigs who knows i don't know we will see uh, what i want to mention regarding the pocophone f1 i received so many comments and uh, basically uh, yeah i would say i write like a rant comments man your your pocophone f1 has a bleeding it has a light burn in or something like that and it doesn't have I already showed you you have 20 videos on my youtube channel regarding that okay I'm giving uh, we have like uh, what do we have how you call people are voting voting for the new government or something like that for the president yeah isn't I don't know uh, something like that uh, anyway I want to say that uh, I don't have ninjas I don't have two major issues which I saw that many people are uh, putting on my youtube channel my comment in my comments touch issues touch sensitivity not any single problem with the screen with the regarding the touch sensitivity it's amazing probably one of the fastest that i ever had in a po in a xiaomi smartphone it is okay remember that and regarding the uh the light uh, the light leak a leaking light there no i don't have it ninjas and you like i said you have 20 videos on my channel just show me a single spot uh, timeline on my youtube channel where you can see obviously this light uh leak Burn-in is a different thing. This is uh, regarding the AMOLED screens. They have the burn-in, uh, burn while uh, it seems 